here's the, the thing rim. these are perfect words that you're offering mm -hmm. a strong desire that hasn't manifested means that your usual conversation about it is going to be detailed and negative isn't that true mm -hmm. because if you've got a strong desire and it hasn't manifested then it backfires on you so so what is the logical thing if you've got a strong desire that isn't manifesting which means you've got some detailed stuff going on that's holding it from manifesting that's that's causing the resistance that's keeping you from keeping it from revealing itself to you because you're not ready for it to reveal itself to you because you're vibrationally out of whack what's the logical thing to do go general go general less specific go so general. so when you said I have these really strong desires we want to say well soften them <laughs> or distract yourself from them or stop making them the big hairy deal that you're making them out to be and go general so what is the really strong desire that you have just speak one part of it uh, self-confidence so 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 go general about that self-confidence be specific be specific as you can be in a negative way just for a moment um, I have self-doubt sometimes and it, and it holds me back I criticize I don't I don't accept myself the way I am I'm always striving now towards see, that you place see how to he be. started out and then and now he's used the word always so it's gotten more specific I always do what um, I, I have such high standards and I, I I so want to be this specific this specific being that and I, I don't always, allow myself to where I am now. To say I always I always um, I'm not sure where I always sabotage that. myself or I always have self-doubt or I always so really specific and really uncomfortable so uncomfortable. go general go general go general right now in, in that subject I'm not as confident as I'd like to be but I guess a lot of people aren't and uh, I don't have to figure it out all right now and things are getting sort of kind of better for me taking a whole lot longer than I want it to but I guess I'll probably make my way along in time just more general and things are not really going so bad there are a lot of things that are pretty good and there have been a lot of things that I've wanted to accomplish that I have accomplished and this is sort of the last holdout that I'm really looking forward to releasing and I can feel that it's sort of a big key for me so it's gonna be really a satisfying sense of relief when I finally let go of it and and I have the sense I don't have to let go of it all at once that it will be a sort of gradual thing and and so I think it's time for me to stop torturing myself about about things that that aren't happening this red hot minute and just start appreciating the great life that I do have and the wonderful things that I am uncovering and discovering about myself and I really like being alive at this time this is a fun time to be alive it's fun to know the concept of law of attraction it's fun to know about my emotional relationship to it I like knowing that my that the true presence of who I am is is a is a really good feeling being and and it also is satisfying to me to realize that anytime I don't feel confidence that I'm feeling doubt in myself that what that means for sure for sure for sure is that I'm thinking a thought that my inner being doesn't think so when I'm thinking I don't have confidence my inner beings not going there with me which must mean I have confidence I'm just not letting in I love it that my inner being hangs in there tough and sure and true to who I am and I love the idea of me working my way little by little into more presence of how my inner being feels and that's what confidence is that's what the feeling of confidence is is that all knowingness not necessarily that I have all the answers right now this red hot minute that's the discussion we had earlier because you don't want all the answers this red hot minute it would be a, a, a a minefield to, to try to explore I don't have to have all the answers this red hot minute just the one that applies to what I'm doing right now and so, and I know that my inner being will feed it to me I know that I'll just rendezvous with it says so next logical step next logical step I'm so yeah. proud of how I'm doing I'm so pleased I'm, I'm so full of zest for life I'm so eager about moving on I love knowing who I really am and what my inner being really feels and some and I don't think it's such a bad thing to know what my inner being feels by me knowing its opposite that's not a bad thing that's a good thing when I feel rotten that means my inner being feels great that's worth something don't you think mm -hmm. in fact the rottener I feel 
is it greater indication of how good my inner being feels isn't that good to know inner being it's disgusting that you feel that good because if you didn't feel that good I couldn't feel this bad you need to adjust something and inner being just stands and smiles waiting for you to join the confidence and the knowledge confidence comes with knowledge knowledge comes with presence of source within you yes and and the confidence I think I may have chosen the wrong word but 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 that's no, all accurate didn't. and very good no, no you didn't that's a well, perfect word for me it's also it's self-criticism it's like they're they're not allowing where I am now like it feels like my desire is so strong that the where I am now compared to where I want to be feels I, that my desire is too strong let's go back there I've got such a strongly focused I have a strong desire that I'm on the flip side of and I can't get there from there in other words my desire is so strong but not but I'm not practiced in the other end of it so every time you say that you've been saying that a lot I have a really 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 strong desire I have big mm -hmm. goals I have big expectations of myself and of life and and of the government and of the econo economists I have I have big expectations and they and myself are letting us all down in other words I have and we say go general go general it keeps working out the earth keeps spinning the Sun comes up every morning the plants keep growing the water keeps flowing my heart pumps all through the night without <laughs> my attention to it things things are working well I I have big desires but I have in time the ability to achieve all of them it's just one step at a time I don't have to go faster than I can go when Esther was growing up she lived in a very small town there were 721 people until she left <laughs> and she walked everywhere because it was small and the family car was not available to her and she remembers the feeling of needing to go faster mm -hmm. and not being able to in other words you can only walk so fast in other words she just wanted to teleport herself there in other words that feeling of impatience of not being able to cover a distance any faster and that a lot of you have those feelings that it, it's just it's just a in the airport the announcement says thank you for your patience and Esther always says I am not patient <laughs> don't thank me for patience in other words we don't want you to acquiesce we don't want you to give in to that feeling of not enough momentum and so so when you say I have big goals add to that I have big goals which like everybody's big goals are unachievable all at once it's not ever been my goal to live it all now it's been my intention as I came forth to savor the unfolding of it in other words when somebody hands you an ice cream cone that is the most delicious ice cream that you have ever tasted you've tasted it all 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 of the flavors from all of the places and you've identified that this is the one that you like the best and it's this wonderful day and it's piled high and it's in your hand and you don't say I'm going to see how quickly I can eat this <laughs> right. I'm gonna see how fast I can bring this ice cream experience to an end how quickly can I get this over with instead you savor it don't you don't you savor it don't you lick it off your arm and up your yeah. hand and the corn dog. Absolutely. and you don't even want any of it to drip on the sidewalk you try to get it all in other words you mm -hmm. And, and and that comes back to where I started with that's the level of presence that I wish again and I do have that experience of just speaking of, of the rushing and the and the fast pace and the trying to get to all these things that I want but, and so but I'm playing that game but of here's, balance but here's the game we want you to play mm -hmm. because you've done the vortex work then there's not a void of good things that are happening there's a constant unfolding of good things that are happening Mm -hmm. information being given to you being revealed to you the path unfolding and and when you're when you are in the process of closing that gap you don't feel impatience mm -hmm. you feel gratified and worthy and satisfied and eager to watch the unfolding of it it makes it makes the farther 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 farness from where you want to be even more delicious because the journey is satisfying every step of the way it doesn't matter how far you are from where you want to be as long as you're moving in the direction of it there's satisfaction 
you see and most people keep thinking that the satisfaction only comes when you get there that's flawed it that, it, that, that satisfaction lasts that long and then you're off saying is that all there is is that all there is and so and so the closing of the gap is such a delicious thing as long as you're closing the gap so we don't want you to be critical of your negative emotion we just want you to make it more general so that you can begin feeling the momentum of closing the gap you don't even have to be positive before you start feeling good isn't that weird because everything's relative when you were specifically negative being less specific negative feels better and feeling gen being generally negative feels better still and then oh can't you feel it beginning to build and build and build and build and build and do you really want to miss any of that do you really want to miss any of that Barbara and Esther were so playful in the airport in Atlanta that they began making friends with all kinds of people who followed them through it was like they were making a movie together <laughs> one family was on the plane we on the tarmac on the plane when they couldn't operate the jetway on the plane when the jetway was this far from the ramp where the jetway was this far from the plane and they all could have easily leaped across it and made their flights but they wouldn't let them because there is a federal guideline that says <laughs> there cannot be a gap and Esther said I can't even spit in that hole <laughs> it's so narrow in other words really no one could fall through that nothing could fall through that but there is there is a rule and so it's it, it's at, as as it is unfolding and they are having fun with all of that the flight attendant said to Barbara and Esther on about 10 occasions you're in timeout <laughs> which was her way of saying I'm really enjoying how much fun you're having in this situation and then as they were leaving the area uh, Jerry wrote in his email that he sent to some an, an awareness that just came to him recently that that if you will allow it that all kinds of angelic people will rendezvous with you w when you're ready to let it be that as you share this planet with so many others that if you will let yourself be in a place of receiving them that every single one of them has the potential of it exerting angelic influence into your experience of uplifting you every single one of them 100% of them has the ability if you're in the right place you see and so Barbara and Esther were standing there having this playful thought and Esther thought about that and was speaking it to Barbara and then this woman wearing the red coat who had been putting them on timeout because she was making the gate announcements that there was a delay but people were coming who hadn't heard it and so they would go up and then she would beat up on them and so Barbara and Esther were trying to save people the trouble of being beat up on <laughs> so so they were trying to inform people as they arrived about what was happening and then they would laugh about it and then the people usually would say well I need to go ask anyway and Esther would say well then go let them beat up on you but we're telling you what what's going on and, and then the woman would hear and she would say you are in timeout you are in timeout and so as as the whole thing was ending and they were finally getting on the delayed flight the woman in the red coat came to Esther as she was thinking about Jerry's quotation she she made an announcement my name is Angel <laughs> my name is Angel and Esther said of course your name is Angel <laughs> could it be anything other than Angel with, with the ride we're taking here today in other words isn't the universe just knocking itself out big time and then angel came and wrapped her wings we're not kidding you around Esther and Barbara and said thanks for keeping it light ladies would you want to miss a manifestation like that no. in other words seems like a delay things like seems like I'm going too slow seems like something's gone wrong when really what's happened is the universe has orchestrated for you an opportunity to savor life in detail because where are you going anyway where are you going where are you going where are you going you want to go stand in the line at Disneyland where are you going where, where are you going aren't isn't this why you're here anyway aren't you here for these interactions aren't you here for this co-creation aren't you here for these goosebump moments aren't you here aren't you here to savor life with other savers of life isn't that what it's all about yes, yes. present in the moment yes thank you so much love you my very much